doing a review of Chobits today. Personally, I think this is one of those series that all anime fans should have under their belt. Alright, so, the story revolves around a boy named Hideki, a farm boy who failed to get into college. So he decides to move to the big city and go to prep school to help with his studies. This world that he lives in is an alternate to our present day. In this world, they have what is called Persicoms, and basically they're computers that look like toys, animals, or even people. Hideki does not have a lot of money, and Persicoms are very expensive, but he really wants one so he can do his schoolwork and go on the internet, and of course, since, you know, he's an adolescent boy, look at porn. Yeah. Hideki is a hard worker, physically. He's not too bright. When it comes to lifting and stuff, though, Hideki is your guy. When it comes to Persicoms, he's probably the last person you want to help have help you. But he's a very good person and would never look away when someone needed help. On his way home from work one day, he finds Persicom abandoned in the trash. He can't understand how anyone could leave such a cute one, so he takes it home. Upon spending hours trying to figure out how to turn it on, with some fan service moments, of course, he finally gets her turned on. Oh. Oh, I know. Anyways, when he she starts up, the only thing she can say is, Chee! Being the rocket scientist that he is, he decides to call her Chi. I know. Original. Anyways, personally, I love Chi's character. She's so cute. For reasons I won't explain since it has spoilers, Chi has the mindset of a newborn. She knows nothing about the world, and it's up to Hideki to teach her some everything. The story follows these two as Chi learns about the world, and Hideki learns about Persicoms. But where did Chi come from? Who abandoned her, and why? As the series progresses, Hideki learns about a special type of Persicoms with the code name Chobits, a Persicom that is supposed to be far beyond the capacity of a normal one. As Chi's past is slowly revealed, Hideki meets many different people with different views of Persicoms, some who hate them, some who love them, and even one that married one. One of the main plots of the series is, it's okay to fall in love with someone that's not human, or is it? Another thing that they make a point about is something our world is suffering from. What if everyone spent all their time on computers and didn't interact with actual humans anymore? Which, honestly, we're kind of getting to the point of. I mean, how often do I leave my house? Anyways, personally, I love the art for the series. Then again, I just love Clamp's art, period. I love the backgrounds and the cutout feel when something good or bad happens in the series. The Clamp Girls really know how to bring things out to draw your attention. The character designs are very well done. Hideki looks very plain and average, but I mean he's supposed to. He's a farm boy with nothing special about him except for his good heart. Then there is Chi. And I mean honestly, who does not recognize Chi? I'm sure even people who have not seen the series could pick her out of a line no time flat. The music was wonderful for the series. I found it to be really to really fit the mood and it goes well with the characters of the series. Overall, I'd give this series an easy 9 out of 10. I own the DVD set and the complete manga series of it, so once you've seen the series you should really read it because while it follows the same plot, it reveals a lot more about the characters. So yeah, Chobits, go watch it. There are a lot of great lines in it that will probably stick with you for a long time. So, same thing for the next review. Uh, comments, or the comment with the most likes is the one that will be done. And thanks for watching everyone! Bye!